We get this question all the time from people thinking about buying a second home or vacation home in the mountains of Colorado. And the question is, who is responsible for the property repairs or maintenance after I've completed my purchase? Well, it's a great question. And in this video today, I'm going to walk through three key ingredients to condo repairs, townhome repairs, or maintenance, and how a buyer decides what is the right property for them before they make a purchase. How you doing? It's Pete Dininger with the Breck Life Group right here in Breckenridge, Colorado. And before I get started, just a reminder, the reason I wanted to make this video is because we've been getting a ton of people reaching out with questions about buying a vacation home, investment property, or second home in the mountains of Colorado. And so like them, if you have questions, please don't hesitate. Give us a call, send a text, send an email. We are always here to help guide you through the process of conducting your research and negotiating the purchase of your dream home here in the mountains. All right, let's get started with the video about who is responsible for condo repairs and maintenance? Okay, before I answer that question, I think it's really important for you to consider what is the perfect property type for you if you're buying that dream home or vacation home in the mountains. For instance, if you do not live in the state of Colorado, if this is really a second home, a get away from it all, time to go ski or hike and bike in the mountains, when you come to Colorado or to Summit County, do you really want to spend most of your time working on repairs and fix it projects? it's quite possible that you don't want that responsibility and therefore we can help guide you as far as the type of property that would be most conducive to how you are going to use it. For the people who just want to come here and experience the lifestyle of living in the mountains, it might be that a condo or townhome with a homeowners association is the better fit for you because there's someone, an association management company, who's going to look over and take care of a great many of the repairs and ongoing maintenance of your property. If on the other hand, you know that you absolutely do not want any shared walls, you would just love to have a single family detached cabin in the woods and you love the, the craftsmanship of taking care of a property, then a single family home is probably the perfect fit for you. But I want you to think about those things before you decide on the perfect place for you, because if you have only limited time here when you're in the mountains, you may wish to dedicate that time to making memories with your family, being out on the slopes or out on the trails. Okay, if you've decided that yes, you would love for someone to take over the responsibility of the, the majority of the repairs and maintenance of your property, then you're probably gonna find yourself in a condo or townhouse setting. The difference between those two is Condos tend to be on single levels and you may have not only someone sharing a wall on either side of you, but above and below you. So if noise is a concern for you or you've got a, a larger family or more people that travel with you, you may need the space that goes along with a townhome or duplex. That can be more vertical living. It may be two stories or three stories and you're not going Going to have anyone above you unless it's a member of your family. So once you've made those considerations, either in a condo situation or townhomes and duplexes, you will also often find that there is an association made up of every member, every owner within your development. So the responsibility for repairs is going to be handled by your association manager. And you'll know that on a monthly basis, you're going to be making monthly HOA dues payments. Those fees are really divided up per all the owners in the property. 
and it's it's based on the total expenses due at that property sometimes it includes landscaping snow removal trash some utilities the plan for exterior maintenance and repair of the property and then the fee to the managers for uh, looking after the property. So what they do is they take the annual budget, all the expenses due uh, to keep the property running smoothly, and they divide that up by the number of property owners. And it's also based on a square footage basis. So someone who owns a four bedroom property at 2000 square feet is going to be paying more monthly than someone who owns a one bedroom at 800 square feet. Those expenses are divided up per owners. You make those payments on a monthly basis and the association management company is going to handle a great many of the repairs and management, uh, repairs and maintenance of that property on your behalf. But it often comes down to um, which maintenance and repairs are they going to handle and which ones are you as the owner of the property still going to be responsible for that's our next topic okay every condo or townhome association is different but here are some general guidelines that you can follow so you'll know exactly what is covered all of those items that we would consider common elements things that are used by every member of the association are likely going to be managed and maintained by the association so you can think about things like pools and hot tubs and snow removal and trash um, landscaping all of the um, upkeep of the outside of the building painting staining and in many instances the repair or looking after replacement of the roof all of those items that are shared or common elements are typically going to be paid for by the association the association is going to research construction companies take bids and then make a decision um, as to which company is going to handle those repairs on your behalf on the other hand those repairs or maintenance responsibilities that fall to you as the owner are typically those things that are located within your property itself so if if you if there's a leak within your residence and it causes damage to your residence then you're going to be responsible for um, the maintenance of uh, taking care of the issue that caused the problem as well as um, repairing or replacing any damaged items in your property so uh, if the leak is under your kitchen sink it's going to be the expense and obligation of handling uh, hiring the contractor and getting someone to make those repairs is going to fall to you as the owner you can think of it as from the walls of your condo or townhome in to your personal living space is going to be your responsibility and typically those things behind the sheetrock any major supply lines that supply the entirety of the building or the services that supply like a plumbing system um, that you know handles waste for the entire building or a boiler system that uh, supplies hot water to the entire property is typically an association expense so I know there are a lot of moving parts. It's, it's sometimes some gray area, but that's why we're here to help answer questions as you're conducting your research. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions you have about condo association fees, how they're calculated, um, what the range of fees might be depending on the size of the properties that you're considering. We are always here to answer your questions and help guide you through the process of purchasing your dream property in Summit County. Thank you.